Jesus, our King, is amazing. And he plays many roles. Our Lord, our King, Son of God, our friend. And we're part of his family. He calls us his brethren. But there is another role, and it's our high priest. First of all, we serve a God that loves us so much that he sent Jesus himself, our Lord, to die on the cross, raise him from the dead, just so that we would have a way out, so that we would have salvation. For those that confess Jesus' is Lordship, the fact that he's Lord, and believe in that resurrection, the word says we will be saved according to God's grace, hallelujah. Again, Jesus, who made that sacrifice for us, is our high priest. Remember, in Christ, we are universal priesthood. A priest is one who has access to a deity. Through Jesus' death, everyone who calls on his name has access to the Father, because there's no way to the Father except through the Son. But Jesus isn't just a high priest who's just sitting, waiting for us to sin, judging and all that. Though all authority is his, and he can judge and do all that. He decides to have mercy on us. Jesus, who is Emmanuel, God with us, is fully God, because the Son and the Father are one, which means our God came down and lived as a human. Jesus was fully God, but fully human. He lived as us. He knows everything we go through. He knows our sufferings, our joys, depressions, anxieties, excitement, pain, elation. He knows it all. And he did that for us, experiencing what we went through, that he may have grace and mercy. That is, grace to give us, according to his will, things we don't deserve, and mercy to withhold from us what we do deserve, which quite frankly is hell. But thank him for what he did on the cross and his resurrection, that we have salvation. Check this out, y'all. In Hebrews 2, starting in 14, for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he himself, talking about Jesus, likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver them who through the fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For verily, he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham, that's humans. Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in all things pertaining to God, and to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself hath suffered being tempted, He's able to secure them that are being tempted. First of all, the gospel is the best news. You know that he made himself like the seed of Abraham, meaning the seed of Abraham is not necessarily the bloodline, but it's the faith. And we there are of the faith of Abraham and God's as the seed of Abraham. For he's to be the father of many nations. And he became our high priest, experiencing, again, the things we go through, including temptations, that he can secure them that are being tempted, that is to help. Y'all, let's just remember that. Let's be thankful that we have a high priest, a Lord, a king, a friend who knows what we're going through and he's there to help us. But because he did this for us, because he knows what we're going through, he can help us. God loved us so much. He granted us salvation. Your God and King, Jesus Christ, knows exactly what you're going through and that should be a comforting word. Hallelujah.